Hello guys, welcome to the video. So in this video, we'll solve the question, find all duplicates in an array. So the question is very simple. We just, we are just given with an array and we have to just find the duplicates value in this array. So in this value, can we see a duplicate value? Yes, uh, we can see three and three two times, two two times. So I have to return two and three for this array. All right. So what can we do? All right. Uh, so we have to achieve a time complexity of order of n. So for achieving time complexity of order of n, let's first uh, try and uh, try a basic approach. In that approach, can I first keep a pointer here and then traverse this whole array by checking that if I get a replica of this pointer in somewhere around this array, so I will store that value. All right. And if I do not get any replica, so I will return nothing. All right. So this was a basic approach but this approach will cost us order of n square so we can't follow this approach so uh, as we can say can i get a the can i get a second approach so yes i can get a more optimized approach than this so for that i have to first traverse the uh, first sort this array so if i sort this array i will write one two two three three four seven and eight all right because we are given that first let's uh, first let's discuss this approach and then we will uh, discover that so yeah this is the sorted array and inside this if i keep a pointer here at the second position so at every time i have to just traverse array one time and we can check that if my array of i is equals to array of i minus one all right if it is equal to array of i minus one that means that element is similar all right if that element is similar then we will get the value like in this case if my i is here so i minus one will here will be here so we will get that to is duplicate all right but this will cost us n log n oh sorry a log n of complexity all right because first we are sorting and then we are traversing the array so now can we discuss about more optimized approach yes we have a more optimized approach in that firstly we have to know that we are given that the elements are only from vary from varying from 0 to n all right so that means the n is the size of array and the value values of array are from 0 to n only so does these two things make something together yes it makes something together what can I find index of every element? Yes, I can find index of every element. How? If I take this value array of i and subtract one from it, then I'll get an index. Probably I will get an index. And if I then jump that jump to the if I will jump to that index and marked mark that element by something, either it will be a boolean or either it will be a negative number. If I mark that index or mark that element, then second time when I will traverse that number, all right, second time when I will traverse that number, I'll get that that number is traversed two times. And whenever I will get that a number is traversed two times, that means that number has a duplicacy in this array. All right. So how what I'm telling, firstly, I will get a value of every element. All right. So let me take it four and then I will subtract one from it. All right. When I get four and I have subtracted one from it. So four minus one is three. So I'll write three here and I will jump to third index. I will jump to this third index and the value of this third index is seven. So how can I mark it? If this is a positive number, I will create it in a negative number I will convert it in a negative number all right if this is a negative number already then I will store this value all right I will explain you further what I'm saying but if this is a positive number till now just remember one thing if this is a positive number then we have to convert it in negative number all right very simple I will go to this number three then three minus one is two so I will jump to second index and at second index I will mark the number as negative number all right then i will go to two so 
now the updated value of 2 is minus 2 so i have to take the absolute value of minus 2 which is 2 so 2 minus 1 is 1 so i will jump to this index and i will mark this 3 as minus 3 now i will jump at 7 minus 1 6 sixth index and mark this 3 as minus 3 all right now i will jump again and uh, 8 minus 1 is 7 so i will jump on to the seventh index and mark this one as minus one then i will then uh now i need your full concentration because this is a critical situation all right this is the critical critical condition on which we will get the answer all right so when i will subtract two minus one so i'll get element one all right and if i am getting element one so I will go to the index 1 and at index 1 what I will see that I am or I have already a negative value with me all right if I am coming at a index or a element and I am getting that there is a already kept a negative value so I will store this value inside my answer vector so how every time I'll go to index, I'll check a condition that if my array of this index is smaller than zero, so I will convert. No, if this is smaller than zero, so I have to store that value. All right, because at this time we can say that duplicacy is found all right at this time we can say that duplicacy is found so we will store this value all right now i will jump further so 3 minus 1 is 2 i will jump to second index again i will get the value which is already a negative number so i will again store this value inside my answer vector all right now i will jump further i'll get 1 minus 1 0 so i will jump to 0th index and write a minus 4 4 as minus 4 all right so we got our answer when the array is traversed fully so we got our answer vector so i hope you understood this dry run and if you did not understood this then please go back and see it again so now we will code this out and we will code this only will code uh, a very simple logic so for what have what we have to do we have to first create a array so before it uh, let me increase the size and let me increase the font size also the font size is already increased all right so yeah so we'll increase the screen size so here we are given with a function which is find duplicates and inside this function we have passed a array which is named as nums and we have to return a list all right so if we have to return a list we have to first create a list of integer answer a new list type of array list array list type of list all actually now we have to traverse our array so what i will do i will traverse my array and after this what i will find i have to find my index value so my index value is nums i minus one but it can be a negative value and if it is a negative value and we subtract it so there will be a problem so i will write math.abs nums minus one after that i will get the value i will get that value at which we are jumping on so the value is nums of index all right add that index which we got from which we got from subtracting the subtracting minus one from every element after this what we have to do we have to check that the value which we got is already a negative number or not if it is already a negative number we have to do something if it is not a negative number then we have to create it as a negative number or we have to convert it in a negative number so i'll write num index multiplied by 
माइनस वन सिंपल नाउ द मेन स्टेप इफ इट इज ऑलरेडी अ नेगेटिव नंबर देन व्हाट वी हैव टू डू इफ इट इज ऑलरेडी अ नेगेटिव नंबर देन आई हैव टू एड दिस इन साइड माई आंसर लिस्ट लिस्ट आंसर राइट एंड वॉट आई विल एड कैन आई एड इंडेक्स प्लस वन सो वॉट डज दिस मीन If I write here index plus one, that means let's say we can see that obviously if I if I am uh, traversing at this index once again, so it means that this index is traversed twice. All right, this index is traversed twice. We can see here uh, clearly that one is traversed twice and two is also traversed twice. All right, and How did we got the value when we were subtracting one from it? So in this index, if I add one, so will I get my original value? Yes, I will get my original value. So I will write index plus one, and this will give me my original value. All right. So I hope you understood this. So let me run this code and see if it works or not. So if you have any doubt, so please go backwards. All right. So yeah, I forgot to return my list. So I forgot to return my list. I will write return answer, and I will again compile this code and see if it works. Yes, it is accepted. So I will write, I will submit it, and see if it gives me correct answer. So all right, I hope this will give me correct answer. And yeah, it gave me a correct answer. So I hope you understood this video. And if you like the video. do subscribe our channel and please like the video and uh, if you have any feedback for us do pin down in comment section and we will meet in the next video till then thank you so much